uh, one Sabbath day, I was resting in, trying to get my mind off ministry. It's Monday morning and, and it's a battle to get my mind off of who's not in church, who, who or who was in church uh, in some cases. And um, um, just trying to get my heart into rest. And, and one way that I began to do that is I just started thanking the Lord for all the things that he'd, he'd given to me. I was, I was vanilla, I had no, no color at all. And God just sprinkled me with all kinds of grace and all kinds of gifts and, and gave me a family and gave me a wife that loved me and children that loved me and gave me a great church. And, and so, so as I laid there, I started just naming the things that he had given me, playing it back to him aloud. And as I did this, I got a little tipsy, I got a little drunk and kind of slurring my words and I, I just got wasted right there in the bed just with gratitude because one thing led to another. As soon as I'd say something, another thing would come to my mind. I don't know how long that lasted, but, but it was just uh, something I never forgot. It deeply impacted me just to realize I, I started this whole thing with nothing. I, I didn't even start at zero. I started like minus 500. And, and then the Lord brought me to zero and then brought me a, along. And so um, I just started naming grace that he'd given me. And then I saw something, just, as, just a quick flash of something. Uh, and so I ran down to my um, little den and I had a drawing table there. I'd been a cartoonist. I worked as a newspaper cartoonist for when I, when I was a young guy. And so um, I had this picture. And, a lot of things the Lord gives to me is in picture form. And uh, I saw this, and so I went down and I began to furiously draw what I saw. And what I saw was um, the outline of a, of a soul. And it uh, looks like this, just the outline of a man. And then I started to write, this is typed, but a uh, cleaned up version, but that day, I just started to write everything that God had given me that, you know, he's given me access to him in prayer. I mean, how amazing is that? Uh, he's created a throne of grace that I have access anytime I have need or need of mercy. Uh, Jesus is actually interceding for me. Uh, he's given me the Bible. I mean, talk about grace. Uh, there are people who laid down their lives, who lost their lives to translate the Bible into English. And I have a whole one, not just one, I have numerous uh, Bibles. I mean, talk about a, a gift of grace. He's given me the, the body of Christ, and uh, that's been a rich, rich blessing for me. And, and then a cloud of witnesses. I would never know how to navigate this whole thing of a spirit-filled life if there wasn't a group of people who've gone on before me, who walked it out, who are showing me by their example of how to do this. Uh, he's given me the love of the brotherhood. He's caused me to be a co-laborer with God. He's given me the name of Jesus to use. He's given me the mind of Christ. He's given me sound judgment and prudence and wisdom. Um, he's given me the forgiveness of sins. I, it's hard to imagine. You know, there's no cleansing agent. There's nothing you could find in a drugstore or hardware store that can wash away sins, that can clean a conscience. But he's provided that for me. I'm deeply grateful for that. He's granted me repentance, where he actually uh, helps me to repent. Um, he's continually drawn, him, drawn me to himself. He chastens me, which I'm deeply grateful for. He's made me a king and a priest. He's given me freedoms hidden in servanthood. He's caused me to be a joint heir with Jesus. He's given me the power of thanksgiving, the power of praise and worship, plus visions and dreams and revelations. And uh, he's given me a helpmate. And so there's all these, all these graces that I, I wrote out. And um, my, my initial way of doing that, and I, I don't have the original ones with me, but I, I wrote out um, all this grace on acetate, clear paper. And here's what I saw. I saw this manifold grace. I saw this form with all this grace on it. And then I saw the fact that he's 
given me a new conscience. And so I saw this overlay. I thought, what would it, what would it look like if I took one grace and laid it upon another? Because I'd read a verse where it says that God has, has given us gift upon gift, blessing upon blessing, uh, grace heaped upon grace. And Peter described it as the manifold grace of God, which is many colored or many hued. And I knew that you could get any combination out of four, four primary colors. And so I just started writing out all the grace that he's given me. And so he's put the law in my heart. He's given me a, a conscience that actually works. It's like an alarm that, that goes off. He's given me the fruit of the Spirit, the effect of baptism. He's uh, given me a ring on my finger, so he's given me sonship. And so then I took that, and then I added to it the powerful graces that he'd given me uh, oh, of the Holy Spirit. He's given me uh, gifts of the Spirit. And I just laid them out, overlaid them like this. This is not very tidy, but, but you can see the effect of it. You know, he's caused to uh, give me access to different gifts of the Spirit. And uh, then he's given me the armor of God. And, and all of a sudden, I saw myself for the first time as a new man created in Christ Jesus. And it completely overwhelmed me that he's given me so much grace. He's, he's laden me with unbelievable amounts of grace. And, and I just was all of a sudden overwhelmed with the layers of grace and the abundance of grace. And, and I, I realized, I, I, this is what the devil sees. <laughs> This, this is how God sees me. This is what the devil sees. The way I see me, oh, I see me as kind of bumbling and half making it and kind of, you know, beat up from church and, and, and tossed around. And, you know, I see myself as a bumbler and a, a kind of a, a nerdy guy. God sees me. I, I, I'm better than Darth Vader. I mean... A tremendous grace. You know, some people see themselves as, you know, not, not even the whole armor of God. Can't even get their sword out. You know, missing their shield. And, and uh, a lot of people see themselves as just, you know, a couch potato. You know, just not really, not really very effective, not really going anywhere. But when I laid out the abundance of grace that God has given to me, then I eventually put it all on one sheet, just amazed at the amount of grace he's given me. And I'm an effective warrior. I'm a king and a priest, and Jesus is praying for me. And potentially, potentially can tap into the supernatural, heavenly powers of God that are available by the Holy Spirit. Potentially, uh, he's given me different ministries and, and uh, all kinds of tools, not just to set me free and to keep me free, but to set other people free. And so all of a sudden, uh, I caught a vision of the new man created in Christ Jesus. And I saw myself for the first time. But it's really layer upon layer of grace the manifold grace of God. Amen?